<laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to my LP. We're going to do Fallout hey. New Vegas. I'm Chandler, and this is... I'm Max. You know me. Hello, Max. You might you might know Chandler, too. He's been on he's been on some stuff on the best five minutes. I have. I like to think that I've been part of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and today's Friday. It is. Yep. Tomorrow's... Gotta get down on Friday. Gotta get party and part fun. Fun. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta eat my bowl. I gotta get my bowl. Gotta get my bowl. Gotta get eat, cereal. Get cereal. There you go. Why are Whoa. we doing this? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so we like this game. We, I, yeah. Go ahead. Right? No, I mean you can. <laughs> <laughs> we like this game. We have a lot of history with this game, actually. Yeah. Um, you were visiting me here in Nashville. And uh, we went to the local. Whoa, that dude got fucked up. We went to the. Is 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 right now? Is Ron Perlman like war? War never changes. Yeah. Okay. We I have mine muted, but it'll be in the final cut. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, we were we were at the local GameStop in Nashville, and uh, I, they had it on sale for twenty dollars, and I was like, oh, I'll get it. I'll get it and spend money and impress Chandler. Yeah, really. That's all you were trying to do. Be that's honest. really all I was. Yeah, absolutely. That's all I was trying to do. <clears throat> we ate out the whole time I was there too. It's like I could afford I help every day. Look at me. But anyway, we bought this game. We ended up playing that for like the whole week. Yeah, because it was really great. It is a really great game. <laughs> Glitchy as it may be, though. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, I haven't really had any problems with it on. Oh, on I have tons of problems with it. <laughs> yeah. It must be a PC thing. Yeah. United. The flag of the Anyhow, California yeah. so we're gonna try to make this as entertaining as possible. Unfortunately, to watch Fallout is just not very entertaining. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if the open if wasteland. Yeah, I wonder if there's gonna be any like magic of editing or fast travel. There has to be at some point, right? Well, I'm gonna fast travel as much as I can once I actually get the locations discovered. Yeah, I think the policy in LPing is once you've done it once, you can skip it again. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for these few first few episodes since it's new, since we're yeah. doing it, and then after that I'm gonna start editing out running and whatnot. You know, once we've had our, our fill of it. There you go. Sounds good to me. Yeah, and plus these are starting to run long. I already have another episode of this queued up. It's like 40 minutes, so I'm gonna have to cut that in half. Oh it's wow. Just, yeah. It's just I'm gonna have to cut this down somehow. So in the future it will be edited. Can't be like Lee, where you just put up like four hours at a time. Yeah, well, you know, Lee could do that because he's Lee. <laughs> yeah. He, he really uses all the four RAMs on that Mac of his. He really does. <laughs> yeah. I never, I never, he could run Jurassic Park off that thing. <laughs> it's Friday today. <laughs> Indeed. I'm not going to yeah. be quite as involved as he is, though. I'm not going to have Infiniivision and whatnot. Yeah, that, I don't know how he does that. <laughs> no, he's Lee. Yeah. Magic. Yeah. Mr. House. So anybody who hasn't played this game or any of the Fallouts, this is basically what's going on. It's post-apocalyptic, and they have really long intros. Very long intros. Very long intros. And Ron, Ron Perlman is just going on and on, man. Were you just sit, were you sitting here watching the whole thing, or did you go get a snack? I sat here and watched the whole thing. Yeah? I get, I get kind of a kick out of it. Yeah, I like it. Basically what's going on in this particular game, God forbid you haven't played New Vegas, is that... You're a courier, which is, you know, deliver mail and whatnot. Yep. And this guy in the checkered coat, Chandler from Friends, true story. <laughs> Matthew Perry. <laughs> he intercepts you for the package you're carrying, and he kills you. Or, or so you think. As you'll see here in a bit. Yeah. You've made your last delivery. And that's that's how the game starts. Have you ever played any of the original Fallout's? And that his pistol's name Maria. I remember that. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't do very much damage. It's kind of a shame. Yeah, it's just like a normal nine millimeter. Anyway, have you ever played any of the the original, like the one or two? No, I've only played three. Yeah. Three in this one. I like the original one. You know, they're like Diablo style. Are they? Yeah, like the top down, like uh, yeah, you know, like that, like Baldur's Gate. Too. I've seen them. Yeah, just, they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty good. It's yeah. kind of hard for me to get into that kind of stuff because I'm such an action sort of oriented player. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's definitely good if you're into it. But I played those when I was younger, and uh, they're pretty fantabulous. 
Yeah, I've, I've never actually gotten my hands on them. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a shame. I don't know. Maybe maybe one day I'll pick them up. One day. One day. On day. Today's right. Friday. Today is Friday, so it'll probably be Thursday of next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this is the uh, the doctor. Oh, by the way, I should oh. probably explain that I do have all the DLC, and yes, I will be running through it. Oh hopefully. shit. <clears throat> You don't. You don't have to be there for that, Max. <laughs> if I want to go through the. the DLC. I kind of want to be there because I don't know the DLC. I've only played the core game. I'm gonna try my best to cut the DLC down, though, especially Dead Money. Yeah. Because in that one, there's just a whole lot of empty time and a lot of searching and whatnot. And as much as I want to be a purist and keep them all, there's just some stuff that you just gotta. This could be a pain. So what kind of character are we going for here? Well, I'm gonna. Well. I was trying to name him Solid St. Stoneballs, like you and I had agreed on. <laughs> right. But it wouldn't fit. <laughs> oh, dude. I'd, I'd tried a few variations. <laughs> I, I was sad. Wow, you're really going at it here. Look at that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> trying to squeeze every space I can. I eventually just gave up. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> you, not even like, uh, like, <laughs> like gun... Like Gunsmoke Bill or something like that? Like Guns, like, yeah, like Beard Man Kill Jones or something? Just, <laughs> Just Bill. Bill. <laughs> wow. But, but you know, people named Bill tend to know what they're doing. That's true. Usually. I've known a few Dirt Bills. I haven't. <laughs> well, well. I've known one jackass Max. Ooh! <laughs> so, what, what kind of character are you going for right here? I'm I'm kind of going for like a thug. Yeah, of course you got to go a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's true. Like whenever I well you know this whenever I play any game and they give me the option to do an avatar, it's like right to the black guy. I don't know. It's just cool. You know. Before this, I had done a playthrough that didn't go very well, and I wanted to make like a little Asian dude that looked like the guy from Predators. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> he he was the only real hard ass in that whole show. Yeah, him and the chick. Pretty much. Yeah. But that one died, and I was just like, I don't want to go through all that again to do the same guy. So I, I just kind of... Just going for Denzel? Pretty much. <laughs> I really was going almost for, like, the Denzel Washington and, and Book of Eli kind of feel. Yeah. I mean, you but, might as well. It's like the game version of that. Pretty much. Yeah. He's in Vats for half that movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Now, there's something the viewers may not know about. But, but there's something you need to get Lee to say, Max. Yeah. Because there is an option later in the game to rename your character. Really? And I really will rename the character. Max is a fag. If you can't. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you're making this real. <laughs> I will do it. People people who don't know how old I am, I'm a genuine 90s kid. I grew up and I started to come into coherency during the mid and late 90s. And I remember a commercial. Um on the TV, on Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network and Disney and all that for Secret Keepin's Pups. And <laughs> Lee needs to say that word, secret or that name, that brand name, Secret Keepin's Pups. And what Secret Keepin's Pups were, were uh, stuffed animals with hollowed out insides that you can lock up secrets in. They like, keep, yeah. Like Han Solo does with Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, really? <laughs> Except with less organs. <laughs> you think you think a girl like her and a guy like me? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love my hand just goes to the two like oh I guess if, you know Fluke says so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got I got a kick out of Chewy. Yeah? <laughs> he's giving him shit, and he's like, laugh it up, fuzzball. I, re I remember how hard it was to find a Chewy action figure. Uh, you know what? I had one for like a day. Really? I, I very distinctly remember that at one point I did have one. It was hard I, for me. I, 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 I don't know what happened to it. I had one, and it came with like a special like metal thing, like a, a medallion. Like yeah. Cool, yeah, to signify how special it is. And I still have it somewhere. I have all my toys somewhere, but I it's the only I've had a lot of Han Solos and a lot of Luke Skywalkers and all that, but I've never I've only ever had one Chewy. I 
had one of the the Luke Skywalkers from the seventies. Oh, dude. Oh. I don't know how I got my hands on it, but I did have it. I had a C-3PO. Oh, I loved all of them. They were so cool. That's that's pretty great right there. Oh, yeah. I was vintage. You're a rich girl. I was. <laughs> <laughs> What's the lyrics to that song? Rich girl dude, I'm something world. And it's like, it's a, it's a bitch girl. girl. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember either. Yeah. I heard it on the radio a few days ago, too. Today is Friday, though. Today is Friday. Yesterday was Thursday. And tomorrow's Saturday. <laughs> we, we, we so excited. <laughs> Sunday afterwards. Oh, God. I, <laughs> I can't do this, man. <laughs> so you're really... Wow, you were trying out all options right here, dude. I kind of did. I got tired of it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I tried to... Fetty, Fetty's been replaying through Fallout New Vegas, too on the xbox and i was in a party with him and i said oh dude i'm gonna i'm gonna i've never been a chick and i've never been like a like just a like a douchebag i always yeah. be i always be somewhat good so i thought wow I'll just be a douchebag chick and uh, i started off being a douchebag chick and uh i didn't save and i died and it automatically loaded back to one of my other games with one of my other dudes and i, I didn't have any saves on the chick so I was just like, fuck it. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I've had a couple of those with this LP already. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> this is just now getting off the ground. Okay. You gotta just remember save a lot, I guess. Yeah. Especially, you know, because in these first two that I'm going to post here pretty soon, they're not. there's not a whole awful lot of action, but I'm, I'm about to get to where there's the... Uh, you have to go to Prim. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to have to start doing it here pretty soon. Which I don't want to spoil too much. But there is some there is some gun fights to be uh, coming in the future. Good. Except I don't do guns. This, I'm, a uh, I'm a melee guy. Really? I like the guns. I like I don't like energy weapons, though. I like normal guns. The only energy weapons I really like are, is, the, is the plasma rifle. Yeah? That's my favorite. But the, like I don't like lasers. I don't like nothing. I, I just plasma. That's it. Yeah. And machetes. And here's the uh, the. Oh, you're gonna you have loot to come all up with your stuff. special. <laughs> yeah, I was. Every this time is... I, in the beginning of the game, I just I just take as much as I can. He has some good stuff in there, and you can just take it, it. Like it doesn't it doesn't hurt your karma for some reason. Yeah. Well, I think it's because it's the very beginning of the game. <clears throat> yeah. Because there's tons of skill magazines and whatnot laying around too, as you'll see as I keep playing. He has a he has a laser pistol or something in there, right? It does. It's one of those boxes. Yeah. What the hell was that? <laughs> I dropped my water glass. <laughs> it was empty. <laughs> now, I try to go for at least average strength mm. because it's just a pain in the ass when you have a whole bunch of awesome weapons and you can't carry any of them. Yeah. Because you're, you're a weakling. And I like to have at least average to above average intelligence because I just find that's a more impl- enjoyable game. Yeah. But I just take all my points from luck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that I've never really noticed the difference from luck either. Maybe like some good hits or something, but like the one, the one of the two or three times I end up having to need <clears throat> luck. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like it's not a huge important thing. Yeah. I also like to have decent perception, especially because there's so many things in the game that boost perception, like you know sunglasses and hats and whatnot. Yeah. You can have really good perception, and you can. It, what it does is it helps you see people before they get to you on your little compass. Oh shit, girl! Yeah, your enemy tech marks up here way earlier. This machine that you get your your personality from reminds me of the machine of the machine from the movie Big, where Tom Hanks got big. Oh yeah. With the genie, except this is no genie; it's just the creepy Fallout guy. One thing I really liked in uh, in Fallout Three. Yeah. Was the was the children's book? I don't remember that. Well, you're born in Fallout 3, and that's where the game is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that, yeah. And it, and it moves on to where you're in your crib. Yeah. And it's that little book. Like, you, you have to learn how to open the gate and whatnot. Yeah. And, you know, it's in the book. It's like, strength is what helps me move things, blah, blah, blah. I thought that was kind of cryptic. <laughs> but that's you know, what I liked about it. I liked the creep factor. I guess so, yeah. It's like, wow, you're, you're, playing, you're literally kind of playing this whole dude's life. That kind of creeped me out. <laughs> 
I don't I don't need to be reminded of the inevitable. <laughs> Fallout three did a good job of making me feel that way. <laughs> I like Plus, the difference in attitudes between these two games. Yeah. Like I like in Fallout three how you really do feel very victimized and you were like you know, you're a nineteen year old out in the fucking world by yourself. Yeah. I I RP'd that really hard. Like I was really into that game. Sick bastard. Whereas in New Vegas, I like how you're pretty much a cowboy. Like every, a lot of people complained about that, but I I got a kick out of it. Yeah, I mean it's it's a good change. Like, what do you want the same? I want colors, and I want to be able to do stuff and shoot guns and all that. And they gave you all that. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I liked in Fallout Three how it was more story based and how like you did have to kind of come up from nothing. But I liked how in New Vegas, it was straight up. They just put you out in the desert and said, "Go get them." Yeah. You just you just did. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think it's very satisfying also. I felt that there was a lot more freedom in New Vegas than there was in Fallout 3. Yeah, I felt so too, especially around... Well, there's not really a big, like, urban area like there is in Fallout 3, but, man, them invisible walls. Oof. Yeah, those, <laughs> yeah, they those really, pissed me off so much. Yeah, they really... Oh, I mean, they're I still stand. here, but they, they, took them out, they took a lot of them out. They yeah, you have to really go looking for them in this game. Yeah. And I think another connection that I have with this game is that you and I both are from this area where this takes yeah. place. Yeah. yeah I mean, a lot of these we've actually been to. Yeah, I know I've been to Prim several times, and the roller coaster is actually there. And Oh, yeah. And it, yeah. it literally looks just like it does in the game. It really does. Obviously, the names are changed, of course, but like it's literally just a casino in the desert. It's just, yep. that's what it is. One thing I also really liked about this game is that it's so just... It's. I feel it's funnier than Fallout Three, but it's it's <clears throat> it's also less serious in the sense that you know your actions don't. Like in Fallout Three, if you did something, everybody immediately knew about it, and you had to. Yeah, everything you yeah. did with the Enclave or the Brotherhood was had this huge dire consequence. Whereas in this game, there's a lot more like little quests. Yeah. Like if you want to go be an asshole, you can just go ahead and do it. You know. Yeah. You're not this. It's not gonna fuck up character. everything. Yeah. It's kind of nice. I like how there are so many different factions too. Like there weren't very many in Fallout Three. No, there was there was what the uh, I don't even in CR wasn't even a thing, was it? Kinda. Not in that one. Not in that one. No, no, they Not were still talking one. about them being out west. That's right. Yeah, they weren't even. It's been a long time. I know the Enclave was a thing, because you can get the power armor and shit. Yeah, the on it was only the Enclave and the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah. Which pretty much don't exist in this game. Like the. Like the Brotherhood of Steel is this kind of splinter They have the bunker, group. right? Yeah. Yeah, and that's about it. And I, I didn't really like the way they portrayed the Brotherhood of Steel in this one, actually. Yeah, they're kind of douchebags. Well, that, but they're very archaic, too. Like, in the in the in in Fallout 3, they were, like, these really streamlined... These super future warriors and... Yeah, and in this like, one, they're almost like a bunch of knights with guns. Yeah, it's like a <laughs> cult. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of lost his charm with me. There, there's a, there's a few things I didn't really like much about this game. Like I didn't like how little of an urban center there was. Yeah, I, I, I remember like I've, I was, I remember seeing like pre-release, um, you know, world renderings and all that. And I guess the actual city of New Vegas, like including all of its out, outward surrounding like areas, was supposed to be twice the size. I didn't, I didn't care how big it was. I wish it were more dense. Yeah. Like, especially having been to Vegas tons of times, like, there's a there's a whole lot of potential. That could have been, if they'd, have, like, cut it half the size of DC was in Fallout 3, yeah. but, like, just as dense, I think it would have been much better. I mean, like, you could have had a whole nother game. Well, I mean, almost. Really, yeah. But, I mean, just even as the, in, the, in the sense of detail, that's yeah. one thing I did dislike, was how little of Vegas there actually was. Because if you actually go there, there actually isn't that much open desert, you know? No. Oh, no. No way. It's, it's super yeah. dense and packed. And it, I don't know. I just kind of... I didn't have very strong feelings about that. But, I mean, in terms of the rest of the game, I thought it looked pretty good. Yeah. Definitely. And I guess it is sort of focused on the surrounding areas rather than Vegas itself. Yeah, you don't actually spend much time in Vegas. No. <clears throat> Here's the doc sending me off. Uh, how much longer we got on this one so we know when to say goodbye? We've got about. Oh, okay. Uh, two bit. minutes. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna walk out and quit, so. <laughs> the, that's, that's the whole LP? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This'll be the end of the episode. Well, he talks for a while. He really does. He rambles, too. Yeah, there's gonna be some shit coming in the next one, guys. I mean, this is the obligatory setup episode. Yeah, and the next one is when I get into the actual fight. Yeah. With the... Oh, I can't say too much. But there, I get into the first real fight in the next one, and whatnot. And I actually go through a lot of the really important stuff, like using skill magazines and leveling up and picking skills and whatnot. Did you did you even think about like doing hardcore mode? I was going to, but I figured for the sake of not only is it my first LP, but also just for the sake of people watching, as mu as much as I'd love to do a hardcore, I'm just gonna I'm gonna die a lot, and yeah. it's gonna be a much longer LP just because of that, because I'm gonna be spending more time finding supplies and whatnot. And it was just like you know what. For for something that other people are going to be watching, I, I decided to put it off. Yeah, you got to figure that entertainment factor. Because yeah. that's what you're doing, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, this is the last minute, so... Hmm. Well, yeah. I, I guess... Uh, well, I'm not ready to sign off yet. <laughs> don't don't jump the shark here, man. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> it's, actually sat it's actually Saturday here. Oh. Well, yeah. Because Tennessee's weird. <laughs> We're in the future, man. We're in the future. We're in the future. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, shit. Light. Yeah. I, I, did they do that in the other two fallouts? In the first two? Or is that no, just three in no, New Vegas? The the sort of unveiling? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was top down, so no. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, I love that. I love yeah. when, like, how all of you, you walk out and it goes, me. Yeah. I get a kick out of that, especially because in both three and New Vegas, you walk out into like mountains and whatnot. Yeah. Anyway, I never, so. I never noticed the bird there. Huh. Uh, it's it comes and goes. You know, you could shoot him. Really? Yeah. Well, guys, I mean, I'll let you sign off. All right. Well, thanks everybody for watching and being bored for twenty minutes. I promise it'll get much more exciting from here. Bye, guys. Bye, bye.